Texas Democrat Henry Cuellar has been indicted by the Department of Justice for taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in foreign bribes. The Texas Congressman has been taken into custody on Friday following a lengthy investigation that included a raid of his home over alleged illicit ties to the country of Azerbaijan. The indictment included charges for allegedly taking over $600,000 in foreign bribes and money laundering involving a Mexican bank in return for trying to influence U.S. policy. So he, here, here's, your, here's your bribery scandal, Republicans. There it is. Doesn't involve Joe Biden, but it sure as hell does involve Henry Cuellar, a Democrat. Uh, so, well, now look, he's a Democrat, but he's a right winger in practice. Look, he voted against reproductive rights, one of the only Democrats that, that considers himself to be pro-life. Um, he also has a worse environmental voting record of any Democrat in Congress, often voting with Republicans and being supported by Joe Manchin. Uh, and look, he has been propped up by oil and gas. He got over a million dollars in legal bribes from the fossil fuel industry in his time in Congress. They are his top donor. All right. So, but apparently getting all that money from the fossil fuel industry, not enough. He had to get more. Allegedly, of course. What, now, what, what's frustrating about this entire thing is that we saw this coming. And by we, I mean progressives. Okay. Uh, that's why we supported Jessica Cisneros. She lost to Cuellar in the primary by less than 300 votes. Okay, this was a very close Democratic primary. But what happened? F uh, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi put her thumb on the scale. She also had the uh, she, she also had brought in Hakeem Jeffries, who was the current House Speaker, House Whip Steny Hoyer, and of course Jim Clyburn. All of them pushed for Henry Cuellar to win. In fact, again. Nancy Pelosi, uh, who I, I thought she was supposed to be somebody who was like, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to protect reproductive rights. She pushed for a man who voted against codifying reproductive rights. Uh, but again, it, it's because of the corruption, okay? And by the way, she also supported them. They all also supported Cuellar after the FBI raid on his home. Oh, I support my incumbents. Oh, do you? Now, Politico's uh, Kyle Cheney had vote, uh, noted that if convicted, Cuellar and his wife, who's also under indictment, could face long prison terms. Now, of course, they're like, oh, no, we're, we're innocent. We didn't do anything wrong. It's fine. Taking money, you know, allegedly taking all this money from uh, Azerbaijan, whatever. Totally fine. I did nothing wrong. Nothing at all. We're going to be proven innocent. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I just keep wondering, you know, what would what what if uh, someone who wasn't so deeply corrupt had been in that seat instead? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. But what's also funny about this is, wait, I, I keep getting told by Republicans uh, that the justice system is weaponized against Republicans. Why then is there a, a Democrat being, uh, you know, uh, 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 getting indicted? Weird, right? Oh, I know, I know. It, it, it's a cover, you see? Uh, it's a distraction from the Biden crime family. I love how they come up with insane conspiracies every single time. Oh, no, no it's just a cover. No, it's a cover. Really? It's a cover? It's a cover? Come on. Come on. Look, uh, I'm not surprised at all to see this indictment. I, I, think, I think it's great. All right? We should take out the trash. All right, get rid of the people who are massively corrupt. Now, that said, if only the members of Congress who are taking millions and millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars that are being spent by another foreign lobbyist group, APAC, you know, in return for influence, like, for example, the most recent bill that passed through the House that would violate the freedom of speech and claim that any Criticism of the country of Israel is anti-Semitic. 
Yes, they influenced that. They spent over $100 million on our politicians to influence them. If only people who benefit from that money would, would get in trouble. But I forget, if you're, if you're against that, I mean, if you're, if you're asking for foreign governments like Israel to not have influence in our political system, well, you're anti-Semitic, at least according to the people who are receiving that money. I know, it's absolutely ridiculous uh, in that regard. But hey, at least you're going after uh, Quayar for, take, for allegedly taking all of this money. I guess it's a start.